Welcome to Croptober's version of Menu Monday. I'm Melissa with the Budgeting Sisters, and today we're going to make a cinnamon and brown sugar oatmeal in our crock pot, and we're going to meal prep it for this week. Okay, for today's recipe, we're going to need some old-fashioned oats. You do not want to use the quick oats because you will end up with mushy oatmeal. So use the old fashioned or steel cut oats. Some cinnamon, maple syrup, vanilla, salt, brown sugar, milk, and water. And something to either spray or butter with your crock pot so that it doesn't stick. We're going to be putting our liquid ingredients inside the bowl and our dry ingredients directly right inside the crock pot and we'll mix the two together. We're going to start off by spraying our crock pot kind of all around and it did note um, in the recipe that if you were using a crock pot liner you still want to spray your liner so that it doesn't stick. We have two cups of oats. Four cups of water. Three cups of milk. Now it does say that you want to use this much water so that your milk doesn't scald in your crock pot. You can use any type of milk, almond milk, anything milk substitute that you would like. I need two teaspoons of cinnamon. A quarter of a cup of maple syrup. quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, so we're just going to mix this all up with your dry ingredients. Okay, now you just want to give the wet and dry ingredients a good mix to stir up that cinnamon. Now you do want to set this either on low for seven to eight hours if you want to do it overnight, or you can do it on high for two to three hours. Now, that's a total of six to eight hours. Depending on how firm you want your oatmeal is how long you cook it for. The shorter amount of time, the firmer your oatmeal. I'm going to set mine to high and I'm going to cook mine for about two and a half to three hours. I don't want to cook it too long because I'm meal prepping this, I, I'm going to be reheating it. So I don't want to cook it all the way, just enough to get it cooked and say it's done. Put this on, plug it in. It'll be all re for, ready for the morning, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it during the day, and we'll come back in a little bit and meal prep it for the week. Three hours later. Welcome back, everybody. We're here about three hours later since we made our cinnamon and brown sugar oatmeal. We had it on high for about three hours, and you can see in here, I did stir it halfway to get the cinnamon down, but it just looks like regular oatmeal. I have Autumn here with me today. She's gonna go ahead and help me with some of the meal prepping. And just go ahead and put the cups inside the tray. Are you gonna taste test some with me? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit out so it might cool down for a minute while we get the rest of the stuff ready. Come off. It's 
thick, but yet creamy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some ideas that you can use for toppings. You can just drizzle a little maple syrup on top, seems that we already got it in the mixture. You can sprinkle some nuts on it. I have some cinnamon pecans here that I've just chopped up. Apples, bananas. I even made a little bit of applesauce out of some fresh picked apples that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some in a dish with the applesauce for me for my lunches for this week. I have a refrigerator at work. I can just take what I want throughout the week and, and leave the rest in the refrigerator. When you do cook this, you are gonna, I'm gonna grab a spoon here. When you do reheat this, you are gonna probably wanna mix in a little bit of either milk or creamer, something just to thin it, give it a little bit of liquid back to life in it. And then what we're also gonna do, ooh, that's hot. Okay, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna take this muffin tray and we're gonna put a little bit in each, fill each cup full, and then Autumn will take it over and put it in the freezer. Does that work? Okay. Could you get out a little measuring cup in there for us? That'll work. The green one will work. Are we okay? Yes. Okay. So let's just take a little bit. Now don't touch this because it is boiling hot. We may need to wait a little bit before we put it in the freezer. Something that my husband brought up also is these would make great dog treats. Our dogs love oatmeal. And so they would love to get to one of these, whether it be room temperature or even frozen. It would give them a little thing to gnaw on. Do you want to put some of the nuts sprinkled on it or a little bit of the applesauce on it? What would you like on yours? What would you want to eat? Applesauce. Let's grab a little spoon. Here, how about a fork? Don't touch the bottom. There you go. Just put a little bit of a spoonful. Or a forkful. <laughs> it does sound weird. Yep. Yeah. yeah, sure. Just a little bit. Oh, make sure it's inside the cup so it'll freeze. There you go. Maybe a little less next time. That way we have more to go around in each of the cups. Yeah, that's probably good. Alright, there you go. That seems like a good amount. It does look like we have plenty left that we can make all of that, add a little bit more to mine for the week, and probably still have enough for tomorrow morning for breakfast. So all together, this makes quite a bit. I think it said six full-time servings, full-time, full servings. Um, I will leave the link down below um, of the original recipe that I got this from, so that then you can read all of the full instructions again and also just the different mix-in additives that she suggests. One thing I thought was pretty neat was she also suggested mixing in some protein powder into this um, to boost it up a little bit more. But I figured let's try it plain and simple at first and see how it goes. Okay. 
Okay, that's probably good for right now, Autumn. Because I want to make sure I have some of this in mind for the week. Okay. Yeah, I easily have two bowlfuls of oatmeal still left in the container. It is fun, isn't it? All right, so are you ready to taste test? Do you want some of the nuts in it? Sure. Sure. Sprinkle a little bit of the nuts on here. Do you want a little maple syrup on it too? That does sound yummy. Let's do a little bit of that. little bit. All right, you ready? You can have a spoon and I'll take a spoon. Blow on it because it is hot. Mm. So I think Autumn agrees. This oatmeal is to die for. It's super easy. All we have left now, clean up, eat some more apple skins, throw that in the freezer, and our breakfast is made for the week. Be sure to check out the Budgeting Sisters on Facebook and on YouTube for more of Croctober's menu. Have a good day.